Good morning, grade four. Welcome to Shri Private School. Today we will complete our lesson, the motion of the sun and the earth. Last session we talk about the rotation of the earth around itself. One of the earth roots around itself. It's inclined axis. Once every 24 hours, one day. When the rotation of the earth around its axis causes the sequence of day and night. Today we talk about the revolution of the earth around the sun. The earth revolves around the sun once every 365 and a quarter day. Mean one year. يعني عشان ال Earth تعت تعم revolution around the sun بتحتاج سنة كاملة one year. زي ما إحنا شايفين كده في الصورة اللي هنش. زي ما إحنا شايفين كده. أهي. The sun will Earth تعم revolution around the sun. وفي الفيديو توضيح أكتر برضو عشان يورينا revolution of the Earth around the sun. أهو. Evolution around the sun. It takes about 365 days. We call this time one year. Other planets have longer or shorter years. Mercury has a very short year. It takes only 88 days to go around the sun once. But a year on Neptune takes around 60,000 days. What's another way the Earth moves? The Earth also spins around. It rotates. We call يبقى زي ما شفنا في الفيديو يبقى the revolution of the Earth around the sun causes the sequence of the four season. Four season. احنا عندنا four season. Summer Spring, atom, winter. If a summer, spring, atom, winter. زي ما إحنا شايفين كده. هذي summer بيورينا the three types that we have as they. هذي the spring, هذي the atom, هذي the winter. If again the revolution of the Earth around the sun causes the sequence of the four seasons: summer, spring, atom, winter. The beginning only give reason the sequence of the four season. The answer is due to the rotation of Earth around the Sun. But due to the revolution of the Earth around the Sun. Once every 365 and a quarter day. We ask you a question. You only what happened when the Earth rotates around the Sun once every 365 and a quarter day. You will answer me. This goes the sequence of the four seasons. You will this goes the sequence of the four seasons. You will take the banana and the what happened opposite give reason. If again, let me give you a question. Give reason. You only the sequence of the four seasons. If the answer to it is due to the rotation of the Earth around the Sun once every 365 and a quarter day. Then let me give you only what happens when the Earth rotates around the Sun once every 365 and a quarter day. If the answer to it is this causes. The sequence of the four seasons. You can focus on between. We need to make different between what happened and give reason. So at the moment, we have an activity to show that revolution of the Earth around the Sun causes the sequence of the four seasons. Let's look at the picture. We only step study number one. Put a model of the Earth. On a table where its northern half is inclined towards an electric lamp. The machine is showing us an electric lamp. The observation we are showing you here is that a large part of the northern half becomes light, while a small part 
of the certain half becomes light. يبقى summer in northern half and winter in southern half. أول إحنا كنا مخلينه northern half. دلوقتي مخلينه southern half. يبقى move the model around the lamp. Where its southern part is inclined towards the electric lamp. يبقى المرة دي بقى a large part of southern half becomes light, while a small part of northern half becomes light. يبقى summer in southern half and winter in southern half. تعالوا نشغل فيديو عشان يوضح. We are four students who are going to be showing how the Earth orbits around the Sun with its axis tilted. And our goal is to make sure that we keep the Earth's axis tilted in the direction where the northern axis is always pointed towards the wall here that has the projector screen on it. So we're going to tip it this way, and our job as we're going around is A, to go around in the correct direction and to always have the axis pointed this way. So we're going to go from spring to summer and summer to fall and fall to winter, the winter back to spring. Okay. And from spring to summer and we want to make sure we're actually orbiting around the sun and not above the sun. So that's showing the Earth's orbit. So the next thing we do, once students appropriately demonstrate that, then they have to show the same thing, but day and night at each season point. So if I'm here at spring, I've got to have my northern axis pointed towards this wall. So right now where my Lego person is standing, they are experiencing sunset. So I'm going to rotate my Earth so that it is daytime for my Lego person, Vicky, and now it is nighttime. Daytime, nighttime. And then it's going to have day, night, day, night, day, night, and I'm going to pass to summer. I'm going to rotate. So we're at daytime, nighttime, daytime, rotate over. And now we're transitioning to fall. This is midday, daytime, and nighttime, daytime, nighttime. Continue rotating. In the winter, daytime, nighttime, daytime, and nighttime. Okay. So now what we want to do is just make sure the students have a sense of how the sun angle is changing when we are at the summer daytime point versus the winter daytime point. So I'm going to give it to summer. And what we're going to do is try and figure out where the sun is in the sky for our Lego person. And we're going to have an arm stick out and point to where the sun is. So right now, if they're looking up straight ahead, they're looking that way. So they're not going to see the sun unless they bend their whole body backwards to see the sun. But I'm going to assume they're not doing that. They're just going to be standing normally with pointing at the sun. So it's not quite over their heads, but it's pretty high up. Okay, so we're going to pass 
to winter. And now we're going to do the same thing. So now the person can look straight ahead almost and be able to see the sun without looking, lifting up their head at all. So we're going to point to the sun with their other arm to show the difference in the sun angle. Maybe a little. Okay. So this arm is kind of showing where the sun is in the sky during the summer, and this is where the sun is in the sky during the winter. يبقى زي ما شفنا الفيديو كده to show that the revolution of the earth around the sun causes the sequence of the four seasons. يبقى ال conclusion بتاعتنا the earth revolves around the sun once every 365 and a quarter days. يبقى causing the sequence of the four seasons. We give him a give reason. You only the air revolves around the sun once every 365 and the quarter days. You will answer today causing the sequence of the four seasons. The answer is not that the fruit in the summer the hours of the day are longer than the hours of the night. يبقى لما يجي complete يقول لي in summer the hours of the day are space the hours of the night يبقى أهل answer تاعي longer than طب number two in winter the hours of day are shorter than the hours of the night يبقى برضو يجي لي complete يقول لي in winter the hours of the day are space the hours of the night يبقى the answer تاعي shorter than عندي هنا in summer the day is longer than the night in winter the night is longer than the day in spring and autumn autumn يسمى fall يبقى the number of hours a day is nearly equal the number of hours at night يبقى يجي برضو في الكمبليت يبقى the number of Hours a day is nearly equal the number of hours at night. يبقى in spring and autumn ليه fall. يعني الخريف. يجيب لي بقى give reason. يقول لي day in summer seasons is longer than a day in winter seasons. يبقى because the earth's axis is inclined. عشان نفهم أكتر زي ما إحنا قلنا إن محور الأرض لو the axis of the earth مايل. Inclining. عشان بينقسم الأرض يعني الأرض عند the Earth divided to half. عشان كده the hours تاتي تبقى different in summer and winter. طب ممكن يجي لي سؤال ويقول لي what happen when the Earth's axis is vertical. Vertical زي ما إحنا قلنا يعني رئيسي and not inclined. يبقى الانسر بتاعي the number of hours of day is equal to the number of hours night يبقى the number of hours of day is equal to number of hours night يجي only question تاني but right or false يبقى the sequence of day and night occurs due to the revolution of the sun around the earth يبقى الانسر بتاعي false ليه لان احنا قلنا the sequence of four seasons due to the revolution of the sun around the earth زي ما احنا شايفين كده هو مجمع لي هنا give reason بيقول لي the sequence of the day and night يبقى due to the rotation of earth around its axis طب number two the sequence of the seasons يبقى due to the rotation of earth around the sun. The number three, the length of day and night is different. يبقى because the earth axis is inclined. We give the question Bardi only complete the following. Number one, the rotation of earth around its axis causes the sequence of يبقى space and space يبقى day and night while the revolution of the earth around the sun causes the sequence of four seasons. Tab number two, you only the hours of day is summer are 
ويديني سبيس زان ات ان وينتر يبقى الانسر بتاعي لونجر زان تعالوا بقى نشوف فيديو يعمل لي كومبير ما بين الروتيشن اند ريفوليوشن اوف ذا ايرث روتيشن اند ريفوليوشن Did you know that the earth is always in motion? We don't see or feel it moving. That's because everything on earth is moving with us. Think of riding in a car down a highway. Pretend you're sitting very still. You don't feel like you're moving. You don't seem to be moving. But you're moving at 50 miles per hour down the highway. Traveling on the Earth is like that. Let's look at the Earth's movement. First, the Earth is always moving around the Sun. The Sun is the center of the solar system. The Earth and all other planets orbit it. We call this a fixed orbit. It always stays the same. We say that the Earth revolves around the Sun. It constantly goes around it. It never stops. We call this the Earth's revolution. How long does it take the Earth to complete one revolution around the Sun? It takes about 365 days. We call this time one year. Other planets have longer or shorter years. Mercury has a very short year. It takes only 88 days to go around the sun once. But a year on Neptune takes around 60,000 days. What's another way the Earth moves? The Earth also spins around. It rotates. We call this the Earth's rotation. Have you ever watched a top spin around? The Earth does the same thing. The Earth's rotation is very important to us. Have you ever wondered why we have days and nights? Why does the sun seem to come up in the morning? Why does it seem to go down at night? Days and nights happen because of the Earth's rotation. The Earth spins around from west to east. As it spins, one side of it faces the sun. The other side faces away from the sun. When we're facing the sun, we have light. We call it day. When we face away from the sun, we don't have the sun's light. We call it night. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to rotate once. We call this one day. In the morning, the sun looks like it's rising in the east. Our side of the Earth is turning towards it. We are coming into the sun's light. In the evening, it looks like the sun is setting in the west. Our side of the earth is turning away from the sun. Night is coming. What is happening on the other side of the world when we have day? That's right, the other side of the world is having night. When we have night, they have day. There's more to learn about the Earth's rotation. We say the Earth rotates on its axis. The axis is an imaginary line that goes through the middle of the Earth. It helps us understand how the Earth spins. The axis is not straight up and down. The Earth tilts a little as it spins. This tilting is very important. It's the reason we have seasons. We can think of the Earth as being in two parts. The top part 
and the bottom part. These are called hemispheres. The top of the Earth is called the Northern Hemisphere. The lower half is called the Southern Hemisphere. Sometimes the Northern Hemisphere is tilted toward the Sun. And sometimes it is tilted away from the Sun. In January, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted away from the Sun. So it doesn't get much of the sun's light. The southern hemisphere gets more sunlight. So the southern hemisphere has summer while the northern hemisphere has winter. The southern hemisphere has longer days. The northern hemisphere has shorter days. The North Pole is now in darkness for six months because it is tilted away from the sun. And the South Pole has six months of day because it is always tilted towards the sun. In June, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. It gets more direct sunlight. It's summertime in the Northern Hemisphere. What season is it in the Southern Hemisphere? That's right, winter. Now the Southern Hemisphere gets shorter days. The Northern Hemisphere gets the longer ones. The poles are now in opposite positions to where they were in January with the North Pole having six months of day and the South Pole six months of night. In March and September, the sun is facing right at the middle of the Earth. The rays of the sun hit the northern and southern hemispheres equally. Days and nights are about equal in length. It's not hot like summer. It's not cold like winter. We have spring and fall. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. They all depend on the sun and the tilt of the earth. What is your favorite season? Remember, the movement of the earth does many things. It helps us measure time. It gives us years and days. It gives us daytime to play in and nighttime to sleep in. It gives us winter, spring, summer, and fall. The movement of the earth is very important. Let us now summarize what we have learned.